Some of you may have noticed that the variable monitor is now no longer available in the new Spike 3 software. So what exactly was the variable monitor? The variable monitor was a way to be able to view the values of a variable at any given time while you're running a program. LEGO's suggestion for an alternative to the variable monitor is to use the hub's 5x5 matrix to display your variables. However, this is very limited because we can only realistically display one variable, and it is very hard to do this when your variables are more than one digit long. In this video, I wanted to share some of the alternatives that I came up with for viewing your variables. I came up with three different methods of displaying variables using the line graph, bar graph, and display extension blocks. As an example, I created this basic program that defines three different variables, var1, var2, and var3. Let's start our program by just clearing the line graph and then the bar graph. Now we will add a block to plot a number onto one of the lines, as well as a block to set the bar value. In addition, we can use the write block from the display section. You can see that with the line graph and bar graph blocks, we can display up to six different variables because we have options for six colors. Now I'm just going to set var1, var2, and var3 to be plotted by each of these three blocks respectively. Now let's click play on this program and see what happens. You can see that the line graph is giving us a nice plot of the variable and it even includes a history of all of the previous values of that variable since the program started running. The bar graph plots our value at the bottom of the bar. Notice that the bar is shifting up and down because the scale is changing as the values change. So you can ignore that and just read the number off the variable. And the display block is giving us the output of variable three. Note that we can only do this with one variable compared to the other two options, which give us six variables each. One cool feature to note with the line graph is that we can actually go to the table tab where we get a running list of all the values that the variable was set to since the program started. And we can even click download on this table to save it and do data logging with. One drawback with the bar graph is that once you go beyond 1000, we don't get as accurate values. As you can see, it's only going by every 0.1k. But then once you're below 1000, we get the exact value of the variable. Feel free to ask any questions you might have about Spike 3 in the comments below or on the Share and Learn Facebook groups. Hope this video was helpful and watch out for more videos on Spike 3 coming soon.